A special thank you to our great sponsors. Jack Burford Chevrolet, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble, Luxury Pets, Express Roofing, we've got you covered, Faith Created, Assembly of God Church, ScenicCabin.com, Equipment, Sales and Rentals, give Sean a call, Tatum Enterprises, Richmond Tourism, WKYT.com, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, First Gear, Pro Signs, Berea Online, and Rosenbaum Communications. Hey everyone, my name's Alex, and I want you to watch Madison County School Sports.com. Hello everyone, I'm Madison County School Superintendent Elmer Thomas, and I want to thank you for watching Madison County School Sports Television. Follow Madison County School Sports Television on Twitter or like us on Facebook, MCS TV. And of course, watch all of our videos on YouTube. Welcome to the Coach John Clark Show. Hi, I'm Samantha Barker with Madison County School Sports Television. We want you to watch the head coach John Clark Show at Madison Southern Eagles. If you want to learn about these guys, tune in to Madison County School Sports Television. Let's go. John Clark show. I'm Samantha Burford and of course we're here with head coach John Clark of the Madison Southern Eagles. Welcome. Thank you. Glad to be back. It's been a long time. I'm glad it's season again. It is. I know the last time you were here the dealership where they're our sponsor Jack Burford Chevrolet it wasn't even finished or remodeled when you were here. We were in lots of construction. Like our helmet it looks different. So let's just go with it. <laughs> Tell me your thoughts. Why do you have new helmets this year? Uh, we do a new helmet theme every year. Okay. It's kind of become a uh, tradition now since we've been there. We try to uh, change the helmet based on the personality of the team a little bit. You do? So absolutely. Okay. So it's been very different the last couple of years. Uh, the Mad South logo is in honor. It's got a kind of an old Miss font to it. It really does. Um, the coloring is one of the most unique paint jobs probably in the country based on, you know, Rydell said right. they, they, they haven't seen very many of these. Picked that up off of Syracuse this year, so it's been a little bit of a little bit of both. Kids kids enjoy it. So That's that, what I was gonna it, ask. So they're all excited. Everybody about it. likes it's always like what's it's yeah. always exciting, what's the new helmet gonna look yeah. like this year? Well, so. you guys are definitely the buzz of the town. I mean everybody's talking, especially about this first game against Rockcastle this game. coming Friday night. Yeah. What are your thoughts on that? Uh it's gonna be an exciting game. I love that it's at our place. Yes. Um I love playing at home in front of our fans. We've developed a home field advantage, there's no question. I also love that it's a rivalry like it is yes. at home. Um, after the way last year's game ended, uh, we've been looking forward to this game for a year. Yeah, and I'm sure your fans are too. Absolutely, and, I hope they are. And your players, I mean, they have to be out for revenge, for just success. Revenge is a heavy word, I wouldn't say that, but okay. I felt like a lot was taken away from our kids' victory last year with some antics of yeah. what may or may not have been done to a rock. And I think it's a little ridiculous. So, All right. um, so we, won't, we won't worry about yeah, the past. Yeah, I just, you know, we're going to we're gonna show up and try to win the football game like we did last year. All right, so let's do talk about the past. At least let's talk about last week, mm -hmm. and let's talk about GRC and sure. your scrimmage. Uh, Clark County going in, uh, 6A school. We knew they'd be very talented. They have a lot of good athletes. Uh, as you see on film uh, from the game, and if you were at the game, uh, as you were, they were huge up front. They okay. had a lot of really good athletes. They were pretty physical up front. We're going to be undersized up front in a lot of the games we play this year. We're not huge, but we average about 240 in our weights and our legs, and that's where you want it to be. Mm -hmm. was very, very happy with the way we played in our scrimmage. Uh, we didn't show a lot. Uh, worried a little bit defensively. We held our hand pretty okay. close to us. So defensively, was that on purpose? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I okay. mean, we didn't want to go into the scrimmage showing everybody everything we do. Right. So we played very close to the – to the best on the on the scrimmage defensively especially and we just want to see if we just line up in base and just play our base defense 
how well do our guys get mm -hmm. to the ball, how well are we going to tackle, mm -hmm. and I was very happy with the way we played. Well, your thoughts on this entire season, are you going to keep expanding and as far as are, are you going to pull out all – I know you're going to pull out all the stops Friday this night week. against Rockcastle. This week. But will you keep some things Absolutely. back? Well, so no, that no, you, we're, no, no. We're, we've never been this far along. We're in our fourth year right now as a staff. Right. Uh, we're in our fourth year at the school. This group of seniors, uh, they came in with us from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. We've been training them in the weight room since they, they were eighth graders coming up. They know our system. We have five different styles of offense we can run on Friday nights right now. Right. Um, we have so many things we can do schematically on defense. We can jump in and out of different fronts based on all the different defenses we've run right. in the past plus what we're running this year, uh, special teams-wise. You know, last year going into the season against Central, we were putting together a hands team on a Thursday before the Central game. You know, it just took longer to get stuff to sink in. Okay. You know, this year every special team unit we have was in the week before the scrimmage. So we are light years ahead of where we were. So you feel good? Absolutely. You, you we, have a great feeling going in. We've never been this far along at this point in the year. Well, you said this is your first se fourth season with all your coaching yes, staff. Speaking of the number four, you guys are ranked fourth. What are your thoughts on that? I didn't know that until you just said that, actually. There you go. Um, you got to be excited to hear that number. Who came to our practice to watch us to decide what we should be ranked? What <laughs> I, I think that's crazy. I don't know. You do? Yeah, I, I don't. I mean... How do they determine who gets right. ranked what? I mean, based on the fact that we lost a regional championship game last year, maybe, I guess. Um, but then we lose 18 seniors. So, uh, I, I don't know. I, I, don't, I wouldn't sit here and say we're the fourth-ranked team in the state right now. Okay. I really wouldn't. But I think, that, I think that's something you have to earn. Nobody's played it down yet. I, don't think any, I think everybody's ranked 32nd or 33rd right now. I just don't. I don't know. Everybody's starting with the big zero. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. Uh, you start looking at rankings and what somebody thinks about you, and you stop putting in the work. So yeah. uh, we're not too worried about what we're ranked. We'll okay. see We'll see where the rankings are in December. I think a lot of your fans are happy to hear that as well, that you don't put a lot of emphasis on the number. Well, great recognition for your school, but let's be honest. When you're zero and zero, you can be ranked in the top five and be ranked right out of it in a week right. or two, too. So I don't right. think it really matters at this point. Let's talk about the Central game. Mm -hmm. It's going to be on your turf this Absolutely. year. Absolutely. Yay! you got to be excited, excited about, about that. that. Yeah. Absolutely. It's going to be crowded. So would you say to everyone, let me say to everyone, if you're going to the Southern Central game, get there early. Because it's going if to be If you're from Southern, get there early. Okay, if there you go. For Central, show up at halftime. <laughs> it's okay. We'll save your seat. You know what? I would bet the seats will all be gone by the time most of the Central fans will get there. You got it. You guys I have an extraordinary it. fan base. I love the Southern Central rivalry. Um, it's a healthy rivalry. We feel. Yeah. I think the kids all know each other. Yeah. The kids. It's not a. It's not a trash talk. It's not a. It's, it's a, good, clean fun. It, it is. I like it a lot, and I think it's a rivalry. Uh, Coach Centers. I have a lot of respect for him and the way he. Uh, the way he did things at Garrett County, never beat him before. You know, we lost two years to Garrett County, and then, and then he wouldn't play us anymore. So uh, I get him again, which I'm looking right. forward to. But uh, since he's taken this new job at Madison Central, have you all spoken? Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and I have a lot of respect for him as a coach. He he did a great job at Garrett County. So you know, we know that the kind of teams he puts together, they'll be disciplined. Mm -hmm. uh, they'll be a sound football team. You know, that's what he right. that's what he puts together. But um, we're a lot further along than we ever were when we played his Garrett County teams. Now, I will say this. The toughest team we've ever played since I've been at Madison Southern was my first year here, the Garrett County team that he had to go deep in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. They were loaded. Yeah. Now, that's the best team we've played since we've been here. And that may be what they say about you guys this year. Ah, uh, who knows? I don't know. But uh, uh, looking forward to that game, looking forward to the rivalry. Right. I just think it's a fun rivalry. Let's take a quick break, Coach, if that's okay. And when we come back, we'll talk about your ESPNU game. We'll talk we about play on ESPNU. Yeah, can you believe it? I hadn't heard that. Yeah, I know he's joking. <laughs> Let's also discuss the new press box. Mm -hmm. We'll maybe talk about what happened today with the Ohio State quarterback. Let's talk. I've got my notes over here, and then we've got some viewer questions uh, that they've tweeted in that people want to know. Some fans. Awesome. Interactive shows these days. Right. I love it. Let's do it. All right. We'll be right back with Coach John Clark. A special thank you to our great sponsors. Jack Burford Chevrolet, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble, Luxury Pets, Express Roofing, we've got you covered. 
Faith Created Assembly of God Church, ScenicCabin.com, Equipment Sales and Rentals, Give Sean a Call, Tatum Enterprises, Richmond Tourism, WKYT.com, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, First Gear, Pro Signs, Berea Online, and Rosenbaum Communications. with Madison County School Sports Television. We want you to watch the head coach John Clark show at Madison Southern Eagles. If you want to learn about these guys, tune in to Madison County School Sports Television. Let's go. John Clark Show. I'm Samantha Burford and of course let me reintroduce to you the head coach of Madison Southern Eagles, John Clark. Thanks for being with us. Glad to be here. We're always happy to have you in the house. You guys, your football team and you bring a lot of excitement. So It feels different not having the Christmas tree behind us. It and does. Like the Santa the that ran around room. the showroom yeah. and, the, and the red convertible or whatever it was. Yeah, so it's a little different. He can probably get you one if you need one. <laughs> you know, hey, you don't well, want red. Hopefully though. we're sitting here with the Christmas tree in the background again before You're that. right. And talking so. still happy thoughts. Absolutely. Lots of energy. Absolutely. All right. So you guys are getting a new press box. Yeah. It's uh, exciting yeah. seeing the pictures. Uh, you know, this is something that a lot of people don't know, and we're going to do some things with this down the road. This is the 25th anniversary of Madison Southern football this year. Ah, a lot of people don't know that. This is the 25th year. Yeah. Uh, it was a 25-year-old press box. It, I was getting ready to say that. I knew that because it was yeah. on social media. Though. This helmet's probably 25 years old. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, but... And you guys uh, wanted me to put that on. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, uh, it's, uh, it's a big year for us. Yeah. Uh, you know, the press box... You know, our program's growing. Um, you know, I, I don't know what the numbers of all 5A programs are around the state, but I have to think that we're in the upper upper portion of that, numbers in the team. Mm -hmm. Crowds, you guys have seen, you know, our fans are coming out in numbers bigger than ever, yeah. and, and we're getting big crowds, and things are going to have to grow to facilitate that right. so we can continue to let the program grow. I don't want it to stop where it is. Right. We have an idea of where we want to take it, and, and I was really, really excited when they, uh, when they decided to upgrade the press box. Yeah. It definitely is needed. The sound system in there. It's probably 25 years old, so it's it's not very good. So I'm excited for uh, for the the new of that. You know? Well, as we talk about your facility, let's talk what you want to go to next. Let's just go right into the ESPNU game. Yeah, uh, playing on national television this yeah. year. Yeah, uh, pretty exciting. Um, do they have to come in and do a site test absolutely. on your facility? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, there's a whole process you go through for all this contract and everything was signed. Mm -hmm. um, we'll go through a site evaluation. Okay. Um, you know, I don't anticipate that to be a problem. Good. Um, but uh, pretty neat to know that this Eagle is going to be on national television. You know, you're going to sit down and Coach Early in Fresno, California is going to sit down and yeah. and flip on his TV uh, and, and watch us play, which is pretty exciting. And for me, most of my really close friends and other countries, uh, country, other countries, yeah. and all over the the, the country, uh, the U.S. So I'm pretty excited. Everybody's going to get a chance to watch. Watch our Your product team. too, which is they've heard a lot about it. Not all of them have had a chance to see us so play. Special. So great for our kids, though. I mean, I have that game is October tenth. It is. It's October tenth, and uh, what we need is people not to stay at home and watch it on TV. Right. You know, uh, Tebow it and come to the game because uh, when people turn on the television, this is going to be their view of Madison County sports. So if we want the country to have a great image right. of what Madison County sports is in Madison Southern. And Berea, Kentucky is all about, show up. we need everybody in the stands. That's right. Uh, we need 20,000 people lining that place up to the point where, uh, where we can't get anybody else in the facility. And we need to be loud and proud for the Eagles. As I mentioned earlier, you've got some fans that have tweeted in that have some special questions for you. Are you sure they're fans? They're fans. Okay, I was and a little I, worried here. Somebody's going to... I think it's, it's, it's actually a very good question. So good. Let's, let's, let's talk about Whitley County. Okay. They're worried. Do you think playing bigger teams like Rock Castle, are you going to forget about Whitley County and, and may possibly overlook some of your opponents? Absolutely not. I mean, um, 
one of the concerns, the only concern I had about this ESPN game, uh, as, a, as a coach, you worry, you know, our goal, we set our goals for the season. Our goal was never to play on national television. This doesn't check anything off our list. Okay. This is a perk. This is a awesome thing for our team. But it's not something that is our Super Bowl. Okay? So we're one game at a time. And okay. our, our staff says it all the time. Our kids say it all the time. Coach Kling, our defensive coordinator, he just one day at a time, one day at a time. Today's practice and then we'll worry about tomorrow's. And that's very much the mentality of our team. Um, this week it is Rock Castle. Uh, I forget sometimes, like we mentioned Central, we mentioned mm – -hmm. I, I forget we have those games coming because – all we're worried about right now is this Friday. Is Rock Castle. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm worried about. Last week, all we were worried about was Clark County. So we're very much that way as a group. Do you have anything special leading up that you're, will you, you typically have a word of the week? Yeah, we have a virtue like, of the week this week. Okay. So similar, you're doing things that the, if it ain't broke, that the team knows. If it ain't broke, we don't fix it. All right. I mean, what we've done, um, I had an opportunity. I don't know if you've talked about this. Uh, I was asked to, um, our character development leadership program that we do, we've mentioned it in here, it's very unique. I had an opportunity to go to the University of Florida and be one of the key speakers at their coaches conference okay. uh, this last spring. Exciting. Spoke in front of about 300 high school coaches to talk about our leadership and development program. It's growing. People wanted it in Florida. Sent it to about 100 people down there. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty neat stuff. That so cool. that's helped get our team where we are. That's been a huge part of what we are. So we still do that every week. Um, Virtue of the week this week is, is fortitude. So okay. strength of attitude, you know, uh, mental strength through adversity. Yeah. We've been talking about it all week and what it means. And, and uh, it's last week, first week of school, obedience. Okay. Because, you know, we've got a lot of young guys going into class for the first time. They need to learn what it means to be obedient in the classroom. Right. So this is very much still a part of what we do. We have our father-son dinner. Uh, this Thursday night, which is a very big part of our program as well. Super excited about that. Yeah. Uh, so that'll be our, our team meal Thursday night. And then just like every night before, Friday night, we'll be at, we'll be at the church. I think we're at Westside Baptist this Friday. Okay. Uh, they bring the team in. They feed us before uh, we get it. We get a good message. And, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're still – this is good old Madison Southern football. Right. Nothing's changed. Nothing's changed. Nothing's changed. I mean, some things have upgraded, we feel like. You know, we don't – we're not coaches that are just going to sit here and say, hey, everything we do is perfect. We look all off season to challenge the things we do and say, what can we do better? Right. But uh, some of those core things are a part of who we are and they're not going to change. All right, next question. They want to know, is all the recruit, let's say the recruiting that's going on with yeah. Harris, do you think that's been a distraction to you or to your team? Harris is getting recruited? Yeah, who'd have thought? <laughs> who'd have thought? Just a little, you know, no. kid from Madison um, County. No, it's... Uh, I hope everybody knows that we're joking. No, I will say this. Um, <laughs> it is a lot. Yeah. And if you ask Damien and Damien's mom, they're going to tell you it's a lot. Uh, there's been times where it's been frustrating because we're at a school that's not used to this. So there are some policies that weren't in place on how people can get access to people in the building and stuff. And we've had to learn that as we've gone. Now, um, by no means am I the expert on everything, but I think my background of being on the other side of recruiting a young man mm -hmm. like him has absolutely helped this process because I know what the rules are. I know what can and can't be done. I know what is okay and isn't okay for the young man. I know that he needs to get on campuses, but I also know, and his mom and I talked about this from the get-go four years ago almost, there are times where you have to tell people no, and right. you have to shut it down and let him be a kid. Mm -hmm. And I'll be honest, I've... And I probably, you know, there's some people that aren't real fond of me in the coaching world right now because I've said no. Right. You know, no, well, no, you, no, you can't, that no, you can't talk to him today. Right. And no, he's not going to be on campus this weekend. Um, and you know what? There's always going to be rumors about everything. Right. Um, I don't know if they're true or not. I mean, I'd be happy to answer questions about them because I think a lot, there's a lot of misconceptions about the recruitment process. Um, you know, a lot of people, one of the ones I heard was I was hiding his letters from him. You know, I, I've heard that before, and it uh, couldn't be any further from the truth. Kids getting so much mail, we're piling it in a box in my office, and one day I give it to mom to take home in the trunk of the car. You know, okay. but uh, people hear what they want to hear and, right. and see what they want well, to see. Well, I think one of the big ones is, and you can answer it if you want to, is that UK came over to see him and you told him no. One day that is true. Okay. Because he was committed to Michigan, and we made it clear to everybody that, he's that going to while he's verbal to Michigan, people can't come in and see him. Okay. We, they got the same treatment. As Notre Dame, as Florida, as Ohio State, it was standard for everybody. 
and that was an agreement. So you just didn't say, it, UK, no. No, and, and I think it's funny that that's the case. Mm -hmm. The minute he made a decision to decommit, that was between his mother and him making that decision. We made it clear to everybody that he was open for recruitment, and they're allowed back in to see him. Okay. Um, so it was fair to everyone. I don't know about everybody else that's ever done recruiting or thinks they know about it, but we're teaching our boys to be men of their word. And part of this process, we told him from the beginning, and I talked to his mom about it. I'm a man of my word. I've been in the coaching realm for a lot longer than a lot of these people have in the college level. If he says he's committed, he's committed. Right. And that's the way it's going to be. And I'm a man of my word. All right? So I don't, I don't agree with coaches that let everybody come in and still recruit the kid. And that's not the way I'm going to do it in my program, whether people like it or not. Um, it well, is and it what has it to is. be something between him, his Absolutely. family, and that was and that was something that was understood by everyone. Right. Okay. That wasn't something that, you know, it is what it is. Right. People like it or not, nobody got a chance to see him. Right. You know, All it right, wasn't good. just something towards so anybody specifically. There, yeah. it's out. So yeah. let it be what it is. It is what it is. All right. And if any more comes up next week, we'll ask you again. I'm on open more book. More questions. People can tweet <laughs> us and ask book. us about it. All right. So next question. Let's talk about Sloan, going with him as your quarterback. Absolutely. Um, Aaron is really progressed from where he was last year. Uh, we're really excited about You were just teaching is. him the plays last year. Oh, man. Uh, it was about this time last year where he, he walked in the building and he was enrolled, you know, and um, we didn't have a clue about him or what he was capable of and threw him on our scout team and started to notice that the arm had a little pop to it. And a week – week later, I'm trying to tell him how to step to right or step to left to hand the ball off at the Central game. Um, where Which he was is, challenging for him. Well, and why would it be? He didn't from. even know our plays. Right. You know? Uh, you know, we didn't put him in the best position, but we knew eventually, seeing his skill set in the playoffs, this was going to make us a better team. And it did. Okay. You know, so down the road, we were better off for it. We ended up in the regional championship. So no question we made the best decision. He's progressed in our, our speed program. His 40 has really dropped. He's a lot faster than he's ever been. He's in better shape. And he's going to have a great year. We're really happy with where he is, and we have him another year. He's only a junior. Right. So he got spring ball under his belt all fall, and he's, he's light years ahead of where he was. And knock on wood, we're keeping him all healthy Absolutely. the entire season. Absolutely. All of them, not just him, all of them. Absolutely. All right. So let's talk. I, I mentioned earlier you didn't know about the Ohio State coach getting – not coach, the quarterback getting injured yeah, today. So that. we don't need to talk about that. Anything about Ohio University you want to mention? Yeah, the Bobcats are coming to town. <laughs> I'm an Ohio exciting. alumni. It's where I played. Uh, I take this stuff from my players all the time. When we did our promo video that day yes. that you guys came in, you, didn't even wear your you guys were like, why aren't shirt? you wearing Southern stuff? I'm trying to make a point wearing my Ohio stuff, you know, <laughs> to my kid. No, it's it's a big joke with my team and I yeah. is that UK is going to kill Ohio. And I wish UK the best, except for the day they play Ohio. You know, exactly. that's my alma mater. That's where right. I played. So no, I did, last time I was in that stadium, I think it was in '04 when I was just starting as a graduate assistant in Ohio, and we actually upset Kentucky in Commonwealth that day, and they were wearing the commemorative helmets. I remember that because they were supposed to sell them online, and yeah. nobody wanted to buy them, and it was a big deal. <laughs> um, honestly, we got fired that year at Ohio as well. We weren't very good, so yeah. we. It's kind of one of those games where you need everything to go your way, and it did. But no, it's uh, it's a fun little yeah. it's a fun little back and forth with my players about that game. Well, we'll keep up with. You. I'll be there. We'll, I'm sure. We'll keep it going know, every week. How I'm about looking that? forward to that game. All right. <laughs> Anything else before we close? I know you got to get you, you got things to do. Yeah, I just uh, I'm gonna encourage our fans to come out this season. I know uh, um, we have a lot of really talented young players that our fans don't know right now. Uh, we have several sophomores. We have a couple freshmen that are playing some varsity right now. Yeah. Our freshman class is extremely talented, the most talented group we've ever had top to bottom. That's got to um, make you feel good we about have a, the upcoming year. Yeah, I mean, our offensive line has one returning starter. You know, we have two tight ends that I think are as good at tight ends as you're going to find anywhere in high school football in the area right now. So I just there's a lot of great things going on in our program. And I encourage people to come out and see that and get to know our players because some of them are going to be around for a couple more years right. as well. I feel like we're hitting a really good time these next few years in Madison Southern football and sports in general. And I just, and not I encourage just this everybody year. to get out. Everybody I think thinks, our Friday oh, nights they're going to be, fun. you know, a lot of people say, oh, they're going to be good this year because yeah, of and, we will. and all the And he's a great player. Out. But you told us even during our media day that you're expecting good things even next year and further out. You're not just Absolutely. saying it's just going to happen this year. Part of your job as a coach is to build a program that's going to endure year in, year out. I mean, we've all heard the saying, next guy up. How true is that? Right. 
if you can't be a next guy up program, everybody says, well, they're losing 18 seniors. I don't ever want to be a team that loses 18 guys, and so I turn around and I lose 10 games the next year. Right. You know, we plan on losing 18 guys. Right now we look at our seniors and where our depth is, and we're trying to get guys ready every week for next year as well. Right. That's important you do that. I agree. Coach, thanks a lot. Glad to be here. We love having you on the show, and we thank you for – I know it's your busy time. It's busy season. It's football. It is. It is, but uh, – it's for the fans. We gotta do it. That's right. You're it. right. You're right. All right. Thanks for watching the Coach John Clark Show. I'm Samantha Barford here at Jack Barford Chevrolet. They're our official sponsor, and we look forward to having Coach Clark on next week. A special thank you to our great sponsors: Jack Burford Chevrolet, State Farm Insurance, Jerry Goble, Luxury Pets, Express Roofing. We've got you covered. Faith Created Assembly of God Church, ScenicCabin.com. Equipment, sales and rentals, give Sean a call. Tatum Enterprises, Richmond Tourism, WKYT.com, Time Warner Cable, Madison County Schools, First Gear, Pro Signs, Berea Online, and Rosenbaum Communications. with Madison County School Sports Television. We want you to watch the head coach, John Clark Show, at Madison Southern Eagles. If you want to learn about these guys, tune in to Madison County School Sports Television. Let's go. My name's Alex, and I want you to watch MadisonCountySchoolSports.com. Hello, everyone. I'm Madison County School Superintendent Elmer Thomas, and I want to thank you for watching Madison County School Sports Television. Follow Madison County School Sports Television on Twitter or like us on Facebook, MCS TV. And of course, watch all of our videos on YouTube. Hi, I'm Samantha Barker with Madison County School Sports Television. We want you to watch the head coach, John Clark Show at Madison Southern Eagles. If you want to learn about these guys, tune in to Madison County School Sports Television. Oh. <laughs>